Hey guys, and welcome to today's video. I thought I would go over some tips and a little story time on how uh, to fight art block and how to get past it with frustration. Um, so, we're going to go with a little story time and then we'll go over some tips and everything how you can get past art block. I know it's a real thing and I feel sometimes stuck in my art, um, especially if I'm trying something new um, or if I'm trying something that I'm not comfortable with or um, basically you know how to get past that how to like grow into your art style that you're comfortable with uh, so basically what I do if I feel really stuck um, you know taking a break is a good thing taking a break um, can be really helpful even if it's just a few minutes or a few hours um i would say you know i'm not saying you don't have to take a break for six, six months or something like that but i will say if it means for taking a break and go reading or something like that or uh, go watch uh youtube artists or anything that will inspire you to create again um definitely with that uh, in mind, but taking a break for a few months might be helpful, but when you get back into drawing, it might feel rusty at that point, so um, definitely take a break, set your timer, take a break, um, so yeah, that's my little tip in doing that, so the second tip is to, you know, have fun with art. You know, art is there to have fun, to learn, to grow. Um, basically, how I fight art block is to have fun, try something new, uh, to get past the art block. Um, basically, I can do a part two to this video and go over some exercises and everything like that that I can actually do on my desk. Um, but maybe that might be later tonight or tomorrow, depending. Um, what I feel like, but definitely, you know, go over, like, take a sketchbook, grab a watercolor marker, and just make blobs on the paper, and I, I can actually do a video on this as well, and just create little faces out of it, or something like that, uh, with a pen, and go over it. I definitely could do an example of this in part two, and I thought about doing that in this video, but it's going to be another story time talking video. But again, number three, so we have number one is take breaks. Number two is to um, have fun with your art and, you know, art is meant to be fun, creativity. If not in the creativity rut, you know, don't beat yourself up. You might be stuck right now, but um, number three is basically, you know, um, what was number three? I just blanked. <laughs> I had in mind, but number, you know, number three is, um, I should write these points down. So, oh my gosh, I had it. But, you know, do exercises, um, study other art to get you inspired. Play video games or draw the video game characters or something. Um, oh, now I remember what number three is. Number three is take care of yourself. Uh, first, like, if you need to go shower, go shower. That usually helps me get out of the creative rut and I usually come up with my best ideas in the shower and something like that like you know go on and I no preference my saying you know out of quarantine and everything like that but go do something else and that's what I mean by taking a break is do something else um so basically you can go and walk you can go to the art store getting art supplies might uh, the inspiration to you, like, there are powerful pack boxes that come every month. No, I haven't been getting them lately, but, uh, maybe I will in the future, so, now story time. Whenever I get frustrated or something with art, if I try to learn something new, I usually try, and I know this might be a contradicting, um, because you want to draw realistic first and learn, uh, what, you know, might be best for it, I guess you could say, or uh, draw realism, study from realism instead of drawing cartoony 
first and you would try something new. Um, the reason I say that is because um, you want to study for life and everything. And I know a lot of our, people, our students will say that you want to study for life. And that's a good thing. That's a good thing. But for me, it's like if I cartoon it, because I'm so used to cartooning things, uh, I understand it better because it's simplified. And I would be like, oh, I can learn how to draw this now. Um, and then I go back and study. I Basically, I'm the opposite um, when it comes to that kind of stuff. So, uh, But basically, the story type comes in. I was like, here he frustrated the other day, and I was like, um, you know, how do I get past this, or how do I manage, you know, and I was like, oh, I got showered, because it's like, again, I come up with the best ideas in the shower, and I need to start a habit of having a notebook, um, uh, by, or something at night time. As well, because I get my ideas in the nighttime, and I'm like, um, I need to write this down because I have to get it in the morning. Like, I had this, when I started, you know, doing story times on my channel now because I love it and I have fun with it. And, um, this story time basically, um, well, okay. So, you know, last night I was coming up with a title idea for this video, and I was like, okay, how can I make this into a good title? And I didn't have, well, I did have a sketchbook, but sometimes I don't like to write in my sketchbook. That's another thing, write in your sketchbook how you feel, and um, maybe that can get pushed you know, out of our blog or something. Something different to do in your sketchbook, you know. Um, so, anyways, what I'm going with this is to write ideas down, um, what you want to draw the next day or something, or in the next 30 minutes, have a goal set and what you want to work on. Um, that's a good thing to have. Um, so those are some tips and tricks that I, I'm checking the time to see how long this video is. But those are some tips and tricks I have in story time. Um, basically this story time includes, you know, I was stuck the other day and I didn't know how to get past it. And, um, and, okay, let me clarify by saying that every Monday and Sunday is always my art block day because it's the beginning of the week and I recognize this. So if you recognize something in your mind and that you feel like you're in art block, recognize it, accept it, and uh, you might not be happy with it in the, more, in the moment, but you can always, you know, get past it, um, accept it, and, you know, be grateful for it. Um, you know, maybe it will give you your best drawing later down the road. Um, you might want to do... 10 bad drawings first and before you get to your good one. Um, so putting the stress off not to be perfect right away is really helpful. Um, so I know it's hard because we want to have nice sketchbooks and we want to have good uh, feedback and everything like that. But you know what? Sketchbooks are for you. They're for you to practice in. They're for you to guide you. In our journey, and it's, it's basically a time of your life of where you can look back and reflect. I like to, when I'm working at a sketchbook for more than a week, like I am right now, I like to go back and review the drawings that I have drawn and learn from that. Um, so this is another exercise that you can do. Um, again, I can do definitely part two to this because I can go over blob shapes and definitely, I do have a few exercises that you can do. Um, and I definitely have that sitting on my channel. I talked about our blog before, um, not in depth like this one, like the story time. So basically some various examples of what I do, um, with, uh, story times and everything like that. So I'm trying to get this video to 10 minutes because, um, it's a good story time limit. Um, don't want to go over, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And it's very helpful. I could definitely do a part two or going to different exercises of what you could do in your sketchbook. Um, maybe that might be later tonight or tomorrow or depending. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you like what you see here, don't forget to get you know, big thumbs up. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that red. I've always messed this part up. Press subscribe button down below, turn on the notification bell, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.